don't know if you can see them. But I got bee buzzing by me. Yeah. But there, there was a couple bees with pollen coming in. There's another one just pull, pull in there. Look, at, this is Keisha. Now her bees have been coming in like that with pollen. Um, and as I was feeding them today, Adam's bees was too. Uh, I'm not seeing. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Pollen basket full. And, and I didn't see any other bees with it. And you no, know, I got 20 hives here. Um, a lot of bees. Um, the two hives are probably finding a plant that's giving off pollen. And what amazes me is you, you look at it, you look at their size, you know, maybe three quarters of an inch. And supposedly, you know, they go a mile in any direction. Some experts say they make it two. I can believe that in the summertime where they can sleep out if they can't make it back to the hive. But I'll say one mile right now. You look at how many plants are in this area, in this, you know, one mile circle. And it seems like I have a lot of bees, but oh my god, not for that mile circle. So many plants around here, but two two hives have bees that found a uh, pollen source. That amazes me. Because I guess myself, I sometimes put myself in their shoes, you know. They're so small. So I guess, and you know, where I'm at, that's like going all the way to the medicine shop. All the way down to that new store over on uh, Veterans. All the way to uh, 10th Street. Then all the way to 34th Street. That's the ground they cover. With all these bees, that's a lot of ground and a lot of plants. I'm surprised a couple, <laughs> two hives found flowers out of all the zillions of flowers in that in this area. But they found it. They found something that's putting off white pollen. And it just amazes me. I could have typed this, but it would have like took five pages.